one heel against the wall until the early hours. Between his breath, he's watching for some movement in the shadows. With his eyes... Well, folks, good evening or good morning in the video. Well, if you've watched the video before this, you know that we've lost all the footage off the drift. Pretty gutty because there was some really decent footage from over the Pecos de Europa mountains. So, you join us here now. Uh, Riano on our way to Portes over the mountains. Uh, it, scenery wise, this was the highlight of the whole trip. That's me holding the camera up then away, fair waving it background. But well, anyway, yeah, this was the highlight as scenery goes. It was breathtaking is not even a big enough word, honestly. It really isn't. But as I said in the previous video, we've lost the footage. It is what it is, we can't do nothing about it. We are searching and doing our best for it recovery and what have you, but for now, this will have to do. So obviously you can see the lake on the right hand side. What we did, we went round the round the village. And then we went down onto the, the riverbed and did a bit of off-roading on Big GS, uh, which it was pretty cool, it was pretty cool, but I had some cracking footage on the drift of that. Uh, but I've not got it at the moment, so what we've got on this video now is going to be just the stuff that you can see now, bits of this, but mainly still photographs, so really I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's like this all the way home now, I don't even think we've got any footage from the boat to home. We've got footage on the boat, on the GoPro, and that's about it. That's all we've got, folks. I'm really, really sorry about that. But if you are touring around here, you've not been here before, put it on your list. It's, it, it is it is breathtaking. Whichever way you look, the pictures on here now don't do it justice. They really don't. Don't do it justice at all. So, just sit back and enjoy what we've put on here now, like I said. It's not brilliant. There's no live commentary. I will say something. If, if the summit pops up and, and it doesn't really explain itself, I'll try and jump on and, and help me out with it. But Faze made me do this, you know. It wasn't going to bother me. Faze, Faze gone putting her pyjamas on down, so I'm start talking away. She's coming back down now laughing. Anyway, folks, so enjoy what you can anyway, and I'll speak to you in a bit. So down now.
How are you, folks? Well, what are you? Ports. Is it ports? Yeah. I'll take ports. She's ports. I've brought it down. She's brought it down. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> put that there. Now, Faye's active fuel now. She's on the cardio cook. Active fuel. Look at her trapping movies down. I want that beer. Hey, it's great. Just met some other bikers. Yeah, it's that chapter then. I'm going to have this little one of a walk into the centre or whatever it is. I've been eating that. Uh, the wind's getting up and there is a storm forecast. 50 50 storm. It'll be red up tomorrow, but the forecast may be a storm. If it's dry morning, Panny is off. We're going to have a play. We'll maybe go down to Las Lemus. Because uh, apparently that way is the gorge and that way. I'll say I've seen them on some of the YouTube videos. 
Oh, give that a go. Fair's going up for us, really, isn't that? What's that Sorry, it's a Otix FaceTime on me. Don't stop for so. Anyway, folks, as soon as we're going into the centre, I'll give you a bell. See you in a bit. Well, folks, shit's got real in here. Look at this. I'm in a disco. Some mad festival going on. Uh, no idea, don't ask me what, but there's loads of music playing and uh, all the blue rinse brigade uh, giving it loads of car park. Fair place for them, loving it. Might go down and have a waltz myself. So, yo, by the time you see this, uh, I will have already uploaded the Man Affairs wedding dance, which was on the other phone, which has been stolen in Lisbon by some cock. Look at it, see, Michael. Uh, that happens, don't it? It happens, but I need to retrieve that off Facebook, and or hopefully when I get into the form when I get back home, it'll be on me uh, on my Gmail account, and he might restore it. Because he was like, "That's all right." So we, we worked hard on that, really, considering I don't dance. We worked hard on. <laughs> you did a fantastic job. Anyway, yeah, I did a bit, and then some cock and Robbie form, and took it. So. By the time you see this part, uh, hopefully, the if you look on the, on the channel, there should be our wedding dance. It's only a couple of minutes long. It's never gander, you know what I mean? Give us a thumbs up on that. It's a uh, bit of fun, isn't it? Bit of fun in front of everyone. And after you've had a few beers, it was all right. Anyway, I just thought to show the people dancing for a minute. We're having a bit of that, aren't we? Treat, isn't it? Look at that. Living the dream, are they? Living the dream. Anyway, folks. There's going to be loads of banging. Anyway, folks, speak to you in a bit. Turn that out. Morning, folks. Shattered. It is quarter to nine in the morning. We are shattered. Uh, basically, great old time. That was no work on. It's warm. But, uh, have a look at these pictures for a second here. Let me show you these pictures. Right, that was me up there in a field, basically on our own. Next, next door onto the hotel, so it's about 100 metres away from the hotel. That was us in a field. Uh, hang on, first, hey, morning. Good morning. Yeah, well, that was us in a field. Uh, two massive band stages, tables full of beer, a little bit of a fur ground. Uh, we was there about, we got there about, we didn't mingle there, we just walked past there, it was on the way to the, uh, we went for our pizza and that. And we said, I oh, wonder when this is setting up. So on way back, it was about I don't know, a quarter past nine. And they were doing a bit of a sound check, but there was, I, I, thought, I said to first, I said, oh, this will be for tomorrow. Probably going to be an all day session tomorrow, this around here. So, but the bar thing was open. There was only me fair, about 10 other people. There was loads of kids at the further, but the actual field where the band was, and me fair, and about said, six, seven, whatever people. So we had a few beers with them. And we said, all oh, right, I said, uh, give it till about 10 ish. And no happens by 10, obviously, there's nothing happening. So we left there about half 10, not a thing happening. Come back to all hotel, so we'll have a drink, and we'll, we'll uh, knock it out head for tonight because we're going to go out to bite today. I've got the panniers. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. We took the uh, metal panniers off the bike. Just to make it a bit nimble and lighter, and it's a pain in the ass old luggage on. So, get us back to hotel for a beer. Met this uh, couple, can't remember where they're from, I think they were an Irish, Irish couple. And they said, have you been to the uh, band thing? I said, yeah, he said, it weren't worth even on. I said, it must be for tomorrow. I said, no, starts at 12 o'clock. I said, well, he said, starts at 12 o'clock. I said, until when? Until about half five. He said, You're having a laugh. He said, honestly. So, we start thinking, I need to drop to Bollocky. We've got no work on. We've got literally uh, like a super band stage. 100 metres away from our bedroom window. So we did bring in it. I don't worry, it plugs on bike. But so we made some earplugs. Oh, you can see them there. Outer phase makeup sponge. Makeup sponge. So I've probably got bloody makeup <laughs> in my lugs now. 12 o'clock, it was like the world had come to an end. You'd never heard it like it. 
Then bang, bang, bang. It's half past five this morning. So we left the TV on for trying to drown a bit of noise out. But it was a, to say it was a restless sleep. Even Ted, look at Ted. He's been like that all night. Lads had a wink. Lads had a wink of sleep. So anyway, we'll get some break in now. We'll have a reach out on bike because this is the last full day tomorrow. We get up and head to the boat, make our way home, and shit gets real bad to work in there. So anyway, folks, that's bye from Frey. That's bye from me. See you later. Well, folks, we've actually took the bandstand down. Oh, well, you'd be able to see on that now. It's really murky today. Uh, the dry bits are where the two bandstands were and this is where all the air was but we've just had a bit of good news it's not on tonight <laughs> yes so we might actually get some sleep tonight honestly folks I can't tell you how bad it was really can't it was well there that's that's where the bandstand was where they're clearing up and there is our hotel there and it was a pro it wasn't just like a little fur ground, it was a proper bandstand playing booming bass music and all sorts. So we've come down to take pictures of it this morning and it's gone. So they must have finished and they started unpacking. Fair play to them, like they've not asked about. And that thing was covered in ale, I don't know how much they sold or whatever, like but uh, it played to the death. Anyway, oh it's I keep calling this port, it's like it's Portez, isn't it? Sorry, folks. For all those that kept correcting me, it's Portez, yeah. But the weather's took a bit of a turn today. It's raining at the moment. And up there, you can hardly see the, the mountains at distance. They've, uh, we've got out to it yesterday. I think we're still going to get out there. We'll give it an hour. And then maybe just waterproof up and go for a ride. Uh, I was hoping to do a lap of, of the Picos today. Obviously, I'm not going to go right retie, but it's uh, I just said retie, I don't know why I said that. I never said that, but anyway, uh, we're not going too high, I don't think. Not looking brilliant. Loads of cyclists in our, our hotel, you no know, pedal bikers, and they're all packing up for the home today. Met a couple on her Kawasaki ZZR 1400. Uh, they're not saying boats, so going home, so they're stopping in overnight. But everybody, everybody in the breakfast room this morning was whinging about the sound. Because obviously some didn't know it was happening. All the cyclists, you could hear them saying to each other, they were all English. They were saying to me, how, how did the sleep go? What sleep? Just I lied on my bed from two o'clock till getting up time. Counting the minutes. But yeah, this is our hotel. Now, don't get me wrong, the hotel's stonking. No work on, like, but, you know what I mean? We're, it's probably cold here for most of the bloody year, isn't it? But it's I've sat on the balconies up there. It's uh, second to none. It's great. There's the aftermath everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, you get you. Yeah, really I'll take you over the road here. That's me morning run dump. Yeah, this when we first turned up, uh, this was like a party thing here. Mix it up there and wine and everything. This was like a bit of a party venue. And there's still a draft pump over there. <laughs> Might go and pull a quick half. There's still a draft pump. But yeah. Good fair try to live the dream there with Bradley. I've tried to look cute. It's in it, it's in it like that in your life. Honestly. It's just stick a tongue, I just can't do no tilts. But yeah, this is the hotel. So I think I might just get a brew or something and sit under undercover for a bit. Oh Betty's here at Karma. Let me take you obviously better. So she's a bit wet this morning. There she is. Yeah, she's getting wet, so I should have put her under a tree really, I think. Up there. It's quite dry there. I might, uh, I might get keys and put it under the tree. Well, we're making our way home tomorrow, folks. Back to the boat. Uh, goes like that, doesn't it? Just over two weeks, two weeks, two days, just gone like that. Then back to back to normal, back to the grindstone. Driving bloody wagons for a living. Yeah. 
can you do? Anyway, folks, for now that's us. Oh, Fox, it's bouncing down. <laughs> bouncing down. So I sat under the canopy with the brew. At least it was nice yesterday. Got first feet on me, like. Yeah, just have a look at that, folks. Yeah, I don't know whether that's even given any idea, but as it stands at the moment, the weather's pretty horrific. Everybody else is under canopy on that. So then we'll uh, maybe if it dries off or because it, it, it hits, it's not cold, just uh, wet. It says it's going to be warm and sunny now. They get soaked and wet. I know, it is, it is bad, it is bad. Anyway, I've all over it when we'll, uh, we'll make contact again. Bye, Fab. Bye.